Hey, Danny! What do you want? Come on down, will you? Yeah, yeah, bud. What's up? Now well, the gang's over the Silver Spoon. There's this Clyde sitting at a table lapping up firewater like it's going out of style. Is that why you called me? Is that all? No, 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 wait a minute. He's flashing a roll of loot as big as your head. This guy, I tell you, he's oh, ready to Oh, the be... whole gang's there, huh? Yeah, well, look, sitting with the sucker is this chick, huh? Beautiful, dark red hair, lips begging for action, and eyes like, oh. And stack, oh, what I mean, stack. Mm -hmm. One look, you throw rocks at your best girl. So I, uh, thought we'd have some fun, Danny. Just for laughs, huh, Don? Yeah, just for laughs. Theater Five presents I'm Sorry, Mom. <laughs> A hundred grand? What are you, some kind of a nut? What do we have to kill? Nothing like that. I know where we can get the dough. Not is this a gag? No, for real. Fifty thousand for me, fifty thousand for you and Danny Shays. If I can talk to him. They told me he hangs out here at the Silver Spoon. What else do you hear? You Danny's friend? Come on, cut out, buddy. Get lost. Don't be so tough. A hundred grand. I think Danny would A hundred grand. A hundred grand. Yak it, yak, yak it. Come on, beat it. If I could talk to Danny, I'd Listen, know I could... kid, anything about Danny, you say to me. I'm vice president in charge. You'd go for this proposition. I know he would, I'm sure. Okay, buddy, give it to me straight. But you better make it good. <laughs> Danny. Uh, hey, Danny. Ah, cool it, Buzz. Scram, no, will you? I, I got a proposition. I got a better one for this check. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, baby. Stop with the fingers for a minute and listen, will you? Yeah? I got a kid out back with a hot deal. Well, this kid I got here with me isn't exactly ice cube. <laughs> <laughs> Danny, this is big. The kind of thing we've been looking for. No way, Buzz. Can't you see I'm busy? Look, we pull it off. We can get out of this crummy town. Live it up like the summer people. Will you listen to me? You're the one always yapping. All we need is one big break. Well, this is it. Ah, sure, sure. An engraved invitation from the White House. Yeah. Okay, big shot. You don't want in, I'll get some guys and do it on my own. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Make it quick. What's the pitch? Don't do me any favors. All right, not cool, Buzz. Listen, I'm sorry, chick. Tonight's just not the night. Oh. Okay, now. Where is this kid? At a table out back. This way. Who is it? Name is Jerry Carter. Hey, what you got in your hand there? It's a newspaper the kid gave me. Yeah, that, that's his mother, Claire Carter. Oh, not a bad-looking dish for a mama doll. Well, go on, read it. See, Claire Carter's new play will open early in the fall. The last ever two years ago was a smash comedy hit that broke box office records. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She writes some plays, movies, everything. She makes money like other mothers make cookies. She must know all the right people. Yeah, that's not all. The kid's old man was a banker. Was? Yeah, he's dead. His mother's working on husband number two, Everett Gray. He's loaded, too. Okay, everybody's got loot. How do we get a piece of the action? Yeah, we'll let the kid tell you. That, that's him over there in the corner. Oh, come on. That little creep is still collecting bubblegum pictures. Well, who cares? Hi, Jerry. Uh, this is Danny Shays. Danny, Jerry Carter. Hello. Hi. Oh, come on, sit down, everybody. I, uh, <clears throat> I guess you don't recognize me, Danny. Should I? Last Saturday night. I was driving home with a friend from the country club dance. You and Buzz and some other guys tried to run me into a ditch. I uh, wheeled around and barreled away before you got back on the road. Oh, you're the kid with that slick Italian job. Yeah, that's right. Well, you handled it like a pro. No, I can move it. Man, with a car like that, I'd really make the scene. A birthday present for my mother. You got a nice mother. All right, what's the beef? It was a bribe. Huh? She thinks she can hide me in a corner from all her fancy friends. You look so young, Mrs. Carter. It's hard to realize you have a 17-year-old son. And after a while, she got to believe her goony friends. Take a delightful ride into the country, she said. Yeah, yeah, some fun alone. <laughs> Think she ever had any time for me? On parents' day at school, she sent her secretary down as a stand-in. How do you think I felt when every other kid had his mother or father there? I'll tell you, like a worm, that's how. That's tough, kid. I'll show her. Gonna get a lot more than a lousy car. Now we're on your side, kid. If you help me, I mean. You name it. My uh, <clears throat> friend told me you'll do anything for kicks. You said you even had a couple of close shaves with the police. And your friend knows his business, doesn't he, Danny? Well, shut up, Buzz. So, uh, it's okay, Jerry. What's the angle? It's simple. Kidnap me. What? Kidnap? Sure. Hide me out. Phone my mother. Tell her she'll never see me again unless she coughs up a hundred thousand bucks. 
Now, if she comes across, we split the dough right down the middle, 50-50. That's a lot of potatoes, huh, Danny? Hey, oh, oh, baby, wait a minute. You're, you're talking too fast. Now, let me get this straight. No sweat, it's two and two. 50,000 for you and 50,000 for me. Yeah, my mouth is watering already, but, uh... But you, Jerry, you, uh, you don't look like any part of the poverty program. Oh, you mean the nice clothes I'm wearing, a car and all that jazz. Well, none of it's really mine. Not even the car, if it comes to that. It's in his name. His who? My stepfather. Mr. Everett Gray the Third. Oh. Yeah, Mother's always saying, be nice to him, be nice to him. He doesn't give a penny's worth for me. When I talk to him or tell him something that happened to me, he just shakes his head and smiles. Doesn't hear one word I say. Sounds like a creep. Well, maybe you're imagining things. Oh, no, no, no. I tested him once. I, I stopped in the middle of a sentence. He nodded and smiled and walked away. Didn't even care. Ever take a sock at you? I wish he did. It was his idea to put me in military school just to get me out of the house. Said I needed discipline. If they want to get rid of me, I'll show them. The money we get, I'll have a ball. And they'll never find me. Well, I got some places you could go. You couldn't even find yourself. You sure you won't chicken out if things get hot? With my mother? <laughs> She'll probably lap up the publicity like it'll sell a couple more tickets to her plays. She'll fork over the money. Don't worry about that. It looks like a setup. Too good. Jerry's on the level. Maybe. I'm taking the chances. You guys are in the clear. With witnesses to prove I planned the whole thing. Look, what about your mother? I'll handle her. She's a singe. Well, could be. Come on, cut the stall and Danny. We're wasting time. Okay. We're in business. Oh, now you're cooking, Danny. Now, look, there's an old boathouse near the inlet. Never used. We'll hold up there, Jerry. Buzz, you get a hold of Turk. Wait a minute. Why Turk? He's not in our league. He's a... Look, Jerry's not going to give us any trouble. For a couple of hundred, he'll play ball. If things get rough, we might need him. Turk? I don't know. Come on, forget it, Buzz. All right, kid. We'll phone your mother from the phone outside on the highway. Who's Turk, Danny? No, nothing. Nobody. Come on. Now? Right now. As of this minute, you're a big, fat package worth 100 grand. Buzz, you and Turk wait here and keep an eye out. What's the big deal, Dan? The kids are stiff. You got no worry. Play it my way, huh, Turk? Danny's got it laid out cool, Turk. What does Turk mean, Buzz? Nothing. You got a cold deck, Dan. Don't have to pull him out of your sleeve just for kicks. What for? Save it, Turk. Zip, zip, zip. You got the percentages going with you. Get it over with, you fly in the wind. Get what over with? Turk, will you shut up? Knock it off, Dan. Nobody talks to me with a big mouth. Hey, get easy. Danny knows the score. What do you think I am? Some kind of fink? Knock it off. I'm running a show, Turk. If you don't dig it... Everybody's getting hot all of a sudden. I got no time, Turk. It's you or me. Okay. Like you're a boss. Good. Jerry, come with me into the phone booth. As long as it's you, Danny, and that... Now, look, Buzz, yep. whistle if anyone starts smelling around, right? Yeah, or check. Give Mommy my love. When I talk to her, Danny, I'll lay it on thick. Not too thick. She's got to believe it's for real. Oh, sure, you can trust me. All right, come on. Squeeze in and close the door. Yeah, you bet. Now, well, what's the number? 227-6822. That's her private phone. That's just what we want. Everything nice and private. I know she's home. She said she was doing some work tonight. What are you shaking for? Scared? Oh, heck no. <laughs> just thinking of all that money. The <laughs> money? I'll tell that to the head shrinker. All right, where is she? Hello? Mrs. Claire Carter? Yes, this is Mrs. Carter. Claire Carter. Uh, just a second. Max, that second curtain just won't do. Mrs. Carter, we have your son. But well, we can fix it. I know we can. Uh, now, what is it, please? We have your son. Uh, what? Uh, we have a bad connection. I, I don't understand. Your son, Jerry. We have him. What? What do you say? If you want to see him alive, get $100,000 in tens and twenties tomorrow morning. Wait by the phone for further instructions. What's that? Who are you? Come on, wake up, Mrs. Carter. This is a snatch. Where's Jerry? What have you done with him? Now you're catching on. Here he is. Talk to him yourself. <clears throat> uh, hello, Mom. Jerry. Darling, are you all right? Yeah, I'm sure. They they roughed me up a little bit, but I'm okay. Where are you? I can't tell you. They, uh, they've got a gun on me. Oh, no, no. Now, listen, darling. Do just what they say. Don't fight them or argue or do anything to get them angry. We'll get you out of this. Mom. Do what I tell you, Jerry. They said you can't tell anyone about this, not even Everett. But he's your father now. Mom, they'll kill me if you tell Everett. You've got to do the whole thing alone. 
not bring anyone else into it. But how can I... These fellows mean business, Mom. Okay, now that's enough. I'll take the phone. You heard the kid, Mrs. Carter. Don't tell anyone and don't try any monkey business. Get the money. Jeez. Please, whoever you are, don't hurt him, please. He's only a baby. He's a... Oh, so far, so good. Come on, kid. Yeah. <laughs> She still acts like I was in the cradle. She better believe I can take care of myself. She better believe it. You're doing okay, Jerry. Just great. Now let go, Danny. Like it was tied up in ribbons. Beautiful. Sounds good, huh, Turk? Will the dame come across? Of course she will. You should have heard her. Had a fit. Maybe she'll wake up now and treat me like a grown-up. Okay, move it. Turk, take Jerry to the boathouse and stick with him. Yeah, we will do. Me and Buzz will meet you there in the morning. We're going back to the Silver Spoon just to be seen. Okay. Come on, Jerry. We'll see you tomorrow, you guys. Poor dumb jerk. Yeah. Kid's a gasser. Didn't think they'd make him like that anymore. We'll see you tomorrow, guys. <laughs> yeah, we'll see him tomorrow, won't we, Danny? Yeah, Buzz. We sure will. Tomorrow's going to be a big one for the poor little rich boy. Did you get the money? Yes. How big are the bills? Tens and twenties, just as you said. You listened to the teacher? Good. I'm prepared to do anything you say to get my boy back. No one knows about it? No one. All right. Here's what you do. Put the money on the valise. You got that? Yes. Now listen. Are you listening? Because if you blow it, there is... Oh, Mr. Now, she's late. This tub smells of fish. No, I'm not worried. You know, Buzz, it's pretty nice to be rich. I have a dock in the backyard, a 60-foot cabin cruiser. Hey, you didn't tell her to come out here in a cabin cruiser. She could hide the crew and oh, we'd be... Oh, no, st- dummy. I told her to take the motorboat so we can see the whole bit. Oh, great. What's the matter, Buzz? Where's the old confidence? I haven't goofed up yet, have I? Uh, one thing about you, Danny. When you want to be sharp, nobody beats you. <laughs> I don't know. You could have been a manager of something or a wheel in a good business. This is the business. A hundred grand. You know how much that is? Well, like a Ferrari apiece and some pocket money for a rainy day. Is that all you get on the brain? Sports cars? What? With all that loot, you could... Hey, wait. Hear anything? Hey, there's a boat around on the point. Give me the glasses. Yeah. Hey, uh... All right. Let's see. Well, is it the thing? Yeah, I think so. It's her, all right. Alone? Yeah. Uh, okay, start her up. Yeah. Boy, that money's so close, I can taste it. Come on, hit me, Danny, to make sure I'm not dreaming, huh? I'll hit you if you don't watch what you're doing. All right, all right. Come on, put on the mask so she won't recognize you. Aye, aye, sir. Danny, she, she cut her motor. Careful, Buzz. Yeah. Look out! We're going to hit! Easy, Buzz. Kill the motor. Right. All right. Come on, grab her phone. I got it! Okay, Mrs. Carter, let's have the money. Here it is. <clears throat> Look out, it, it's heavy. Yeah, I'll bet. Yeah. Open it up. Make sure she's not handing us a bunch of old newspapers. Old newspapers? I, I wouldn't fool my boy's life like that. No, it's, it's all there. Every dollar you ask for. It's for real. Oh, man, oh, man. This is crazy. Money, money, money. Where's Jerry? Hey, you know what it feels like? Love. Where's oh. Jerry? 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 Shut up. Where is he? I don't see him. Okay, chum, let's go. Wait. Where's Jerry? I'm sure. You didn't bring him? Now, don't worry That's about it. you mean, don't worry about it. You promised. Not the motor, buddy. You promised. You promised. You, you can't do this. You promised. Where's my boy? What have you done now with pipe him? pipe down. You'll never see him again. Let's get moving. You won't catch him. I did everything you asked. I brought the money. I didn't tell a soul. I did my part. Now you do yours. Where is he? Where's Jerry? Get back. I'm right with you. You hear me? I want my boy. I'll tell you a boy. I want my boy. Get back. You're crazy. Say this will take care of. Get you a boy. Yeah. What'd you hit her with? Yeah, the wrench. Imagine the crazy dame trying to climb into the boat. Let's get out of here. We 
could sneak down to the doctor to see if they're coming in. No, we can't, Jerry boy. We stay put. Danny, Buzz, how did it go? A breeze. There's the dough. We uh, took time to stash it in a safe place. W why? Because we got other things to do first. Any trouble? No, no, nothing to a Turk. When do I get my cut? When we finish the job? When will that be, Danny? Oh, we want to take Jerry out to where the money's hidden. Back in the woods where nobody can see us. Well, it doesn't make sense. Why not here? <laughs> you know, this kid takes after his mother. Always putting up an argument. Well, your old lady gave us a hard time. Try to climb into the boat. Mom did? Yeah, she was wild. Where's her baby boy? Kicking, scratching. Man, oh, man. You, you mean she put up a fight? Yeah, you can say that again. She cared enough to... Uh, a couple of big guys yeah, like... She'd us into the drink if I hadn't hit her with a monkey wrench. You hit her? Oh, a glancing blow. She'll be all right, Jerry. Probably she'll... Well, she's come to already and is on her way home. You mean you left her in the boat unconscious? What do you expect? First aid treatment, too. Wasn't in the contract. She's okay, all in one piece. But she might be hurt, bleed to death. Hey, now, wait a minute. Where are you going? Get the shore patrol. They'll pick her up. Look, you out of your mind? But, Danny, we've got to. We can't let her drift around all night. Who says so? We got a nervous Nelly on our hands. But, Danny... Can't take a chance. What chance? Just phone the patrol. We don't have to say who we are. <laughs> Good idea. No. But she... She might die out there. You wanted to teach her a lesson, didn't you? This wasn't part of the deal. Who's your friend, Buzz? Where'd he come from? Beats me. The money, you know, what we talked about, the deal. I don't know about any deal. Do you, Buzz? I don't know about any deal. Turk, you know about any deal? I don't know from nothing. D tip off the patrol. Divvy up the money and we're each on our own. We can... We've <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, got a little news for you, oh, kid. Oh, uh, there isn't any divvy. Not now or ever. But, but Danny... But, uh, but Danny, but Danny. You walked in over your head, kid. This isn't the Boy Scouts. All right. All right, keep the money. Just let me out of here so that I can... Turk, you're not getting through this door, kid. I, I, I won't squeal, I swear it. I'll, I'll tell them I never saw your faces, that you kept me locked up in some dark Come place. Come time. Yes. <laughs> let me talk. Please. All right, let him talk. But don't get smart, kid. Like you said, Danny, I, I got in over my head. I, I, I didn't know what I was doing. Kid stuff, getting even with Mama. Oh, now she's out there because of me, because, because she cared so much for me. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's, it's it's all my fault. I'll, I'll sign a confession. Anything. I'll. I'll say I lost the money in this town so they won't be looking for it. Well, what do you say, fellas? Give me a chance. Give me a chance. Here's the spot. Pull off the road, Buzz. Yeah. Okay. Carry him into the woods, Turk. Hey, he's kicking like a crazy man. Come well, on, take his legs. There we are. Hey, what about this? Further in, it's too dark. Okay, put him down. Well, you ready, Turk? What do you think? He's all yours. Hey, the gag's loose. Grab him. Shut up, you're no good punk. Shut up. What is that? Who's there? Someone's coming. Pick the girls. I'm cutting up. Come on, Turk. Where are you? What's the matter? Who, who is it? What? Son. Son, what happened? He's, he's been knifed. Somebody get an ambulance. I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I'm... Sorry, Mom. I'm sorry. He's dead. Say, this must be that boy was kidnapped. His mother called in from some boat. Well, what did he mean, he's sorry? <laughs> Presented 
I'm Sorry, Mom. Written by Vernon Delston and directed by Warren Somerville. In the cast, Peter Fernandez, Jackie Grimes, Lorraine McMartin, Frank Thomas, and Robert Dryden. Audio engineer, Marty Folger.